Hey guys, today we're going to show you how to make hobo pockets. What, pray tell, is a hobo pocket? Well, this is a great meal uh, that you can make in any campground where you can build a campfire. It's uh, an excellent meal for a group. We were camping with our friends Scott and Jessica, and they suggested that we cook these campfire pockets. So they're really the ones that taught us how to do it. And by the way, you need to make sure that your campfire has a lot of small coals and embers in it. So when you're cutting the wood for your campfire, you really wanna cut it in one inch, one and a half inch strips because those strips will burn smaller, faster, and you will use those when it's time to cook your meal. Basically, you just cut up some potatoes, I do like to cut my potatoes smaller because I think that helps them cook a little faster. Uh, some onion. I might put a good bit of onion in it because I really liked the sort of caramelized onions. A lot of people put peas and carrots in theirs. I don't like it in mine, but you like it in yours. So I put peas and carrots in yours. I put garlic in mine. And I also put bacon in mine. I just cut the bacon up into little strips with some kitchen scissors. And I use the really thick cut bacon. The good stuff. The good stuff, that's right. I usually get the hardwood smoked. And then of course we put the ground beef in. Now my buddy Scott believes that it's best if every person makes their own individual hobo pocket. There's something that's really kind of fun about the process. No peas, no carrots. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> like. yeah. Carnivore. And it becomes this little science experiment because you will inevitably be curious how your own hobo pocket is going to turn out. You just get to make it the way you like. Since I'm doing camera, Christy's making my little pocket. Yeah, so we're breaking the rule of having to make your own pocket just because I love you so much. Onions, your garlic is in there. I just get the ground beef that's 85% lean, 15% fat. Okay. Basically what you would usually get to make a good juicy hamburger. And I'm just gonna divide it. I got a pound for the two of us, and honestly, that's probably a little much for me. We'll probably have leftovers. <laughs> we'll have some leftovers. I'll fry an egg and have it for breakfast in the morning. So now I'm just gonna put some olive oil in here. I'm just gonna be generous about it. And then we'll do this one. salt and pepper. And then I'm gonna put a couple of pats of butter. Butter, now you're talking. When in doubt, add butter. Wrap them up. Now I'm gonna wrap them up. Basically, you just wrap everything up in a couple of layers of tin foil, aluminum foil, whatever you like to call it. All right. So, now they are ready. Ready for the fire. <laughs> and 
stick it down in the kind of embers of your campfire and then take a shovel and co cover it up with more embers and just let it cook for like 30 or 40 minutes. You know, it's really tasty. It's a good little campfire meal. It doesn't really get a lot of things dirty because basically you just chop up your vegetables on a plate and, you know, wrap them up in tin foil so you don't really have pots that are dirty that you have to worry about washing or any of that sort of thing. So it's kind of nice. It's a water saver. So that's Hobo Pockets, great meal to make when you're camping, and a lot of fun to prepare as a group. If you make Hobo Pockets, be sure and post and let us know how they turn out. Until next time, thanks for tuning in guys. If you are new here, please subscribe to our channel here on YouTube, subscriptions, ensure that you will never miss a video, including future delicious camping recipes. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you disliked it, give it a thumbs down. Feel free to leave a comment. And of course, don't forget to subscribe.